Okay guys, uh, I'm at uh, Siglap uh, Canal right now going for a short session to catch some small uh, fishes with my Aji It's a fucking big Sola, bro. What the Okay guys, so today I caught two Salah uh, One medium size and the other one, the last one is the... It's quite big lah, but I didn't bring any um, plastic bag with me so I can't bring it home So yeah, I'll come back here again to catch some more Salah maybe um, the yeah, weekends or so So, catch you guys later Okay guys, um, turns out my videos was a little bit short So I'm here to explain more on the rig that I used So for this rig right I used an 8 pound line and this small little hook um, size number 5 I used this, this was a free sample gift from somewhere that I bought uh, the weights from yeah so this hook right is actually uh, it's paid at the end uh, so you have to be very, very careful on how you do the snail hook and then it will extend all the way all the way to your fluorocarbon and we have a stationary sinker i have about 4.5 gram but you can go lighter than this since you are fishing in a low tide and the tail end of the fluorocarbon will be connected to my main line to my main line here later i will tie an fg knot and 
Yeah, so basically that's the whole rig. And for the lure wise, this exact lure that I bought, Evergreen V Fry 1.8. This will actually glow in the dark. Lah. It's, it looks more obvious for the fish to bite on. That's all for the introductory to this Carolina rig. Uh, they have a few other variations. For the sinker, usually it's a moving one. Lah. So it's a sliding sinker, but uh, I made it stationary. I just wrapped around like four times this thing. And I also linked down below where I bought it from. No, no, it's from Shopee. And they gave the free hooks. Yeah, so shout out to them. Thank you so much. And this is basically it. This is actually a very common jetty rig they can use. Because um, once the sinker sinks, right, the lure actually slightly floats up. And this kind of lure, right, with the side tail and it will actually seem, swim sideways. So it has very nice uh, presentation at the bottom floor. And to catch false trivelli on lure, I realized um, they take the bite when it, when you're dragging it, when you're dragging the whole setup below and you do it slowly and they'll just bite it. Okay, so thanks you guys for watching and we're gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make more um, shore luring videos uh, along East Coast Park with this kind of rig. Uh, if you got any other spots for me to go and fish on, please do comment down below where I should go next. Alright, thanks for watching James Fishing. Stay tuned for the next one. Keep on reeling. Bye-bye.